Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The YMCA of Beaufort County provides community support with their financial assistance programs, awarding community families the benefit of participating in Y programs and activities. Here to tell us how the YMCA is a place for kids, Operations Director, Kaylin Garst. Kaylin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Certainly. So tell us a little bit about the actual programs that the Y does offer for the kids. We have a lot of youth programs for kids. Um, sports programs consisting of basketball, indoor and outdoor soccer. We also have a competitive and non-competitive swim team. Registrations actually will kick off again in January for that program. Okay. And then we also have a new boating program that just started programming this past summer for middle school students. And what happens is the middle school students take a DNR boater safety course and mm -hmm. actually get the chance to go out in the water. We have several um, boats ranging from paddle boats, kayaks, sailboats, and motor boats. So the kids get to go through that program. And then back at the YMCA, we have our after school program, several day camp and summer camp programs, and our Discovery Kids preschool program. And so what about the Discovery preschool? How is that different than maybe some of the other preschools? Sure, we actually hire on certified teachers. We have a certified teacher in every classroom. And we also use the same curriculum as the Beaufort County School District. We use creative curriculum. We also incorporate a lot of enrichment activities using what we have at the YMCA. For example, our four-year-olds get to take place in swim lessons every Fridays. We also have volunteers coming in to really reinforce that educational component in that preschool program. And also for our preschool program, we offer financial assistance. One of the goals of our board of directors is not to turn anyone down due to lack of funds. So families simply come into the YMCA, fill out a financial assistance application form. Really easy process and it's based on family size and income. So really we're not turning anyone down all youth are able to participate in the program. Right, that's so wonderful. So um, what are the value-added educational components of, say, the after-school program? Okay, again, we really use our volunteers. For the past three or four years, we've had our tail wagging tutors, and this past year we got a new th cer certified therapy dog group coming in. So what happens is the kids have the opportunity to read to the dogs. We also reinforce 90 minutes of independent reading, a a week during the um, after-school program and lastly we have STEM which is science technology engineering and mathematics so there's a lot of activities from powered balloon cars to bottle rockets that the kids really enjoy in our after-school program. In that after-school program what age group actually is able to uh, participate in that? Really for the certified therapy dog reading program um, second graders okay. and up and then for STEM really all STEM activities can be geared towards that age appropriate. Okay and so are there any activities and events coming up at the Y that are especially for, for children? Yeah absolutely this is our fourth or fifth year running our Rock and Lock In which takes place on December 31st starting at 6 o'clock at night and we have age appropriate activities for children ages 7 years old all the way up to 14 years old. So it's a great day, great evening of all fun activities. We also get a lot of um, sponsors, local restaurants donating food for that event. How fun, and that's December 31st? Yes. And do they sign up ahead of time for that? Yep. Reservations? Yes, you can just call the YMCA front desk staff. So um, are there um, any other events or activities happening at the Y this month for, I guess, just for, for everyone? Yeah, we also have our day camp programs. Our pool currently is actually closed for resurfacing, so mm -hmm. we're really excited. The pool will be kicking off of a grand opening celebration in January. We're really nice. excited about that. But just getting people in the Y exercising, especially around the busy holidays. Yeah, very important. Yes. So um, how can people, I guess, gather more information about the YMCA of Beaufort County and, and who can participate in a lot of those programs? Where, where can they yeah, find that out? Yeah, we have a wonderful website, ymcabeaufortcounty.com, that has great information. Our friendly front desk staff are able to answer any questions regarding all the different departments in the YMCA. Kaylin, thank you so much for joining thank us today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.